name is Andre DeBuse. In the writing world, I'm Andre DeBuse III. Here I am in Newbury, Massachusetts. So what books or character had the most impact on you growing up? It was The Grapes of Wrath. And it was so beautiful and so powerful. I said, you know, I think I'm going to quit college. There's no, I, there's no need for me to go. All I have to do is read great novels like this, and I'll understand history and psychology. But the book that really helped me as a young writer was a book of short stories by a writer named Brees D.J. Pancake. It really helped me learn that you need to write about something you care about. Who do you read now? Well, right now I'm reading one I really am adoring. It's a collection of stories by a young writer named Wayne Harrison. It's called Wrench. I just finished one of Ian McEwan's novels. I love, I love his work. I've read most of his work. But I read poetry every day. And I read it before I write. So right now I'm, I'm working through Sharon Olds' latest collection, Odes, which is remarkable, and Robert Lowell's selected poems. I'm getting ready to read a, a J.M. Cutsey novel, Summertime. How do you come to your material, or how does it come to you? I'll get an idea. It won't be, an, it won't be fully formed ever. It'll be a human situation with some trouble in it. I tend to be haunted by how wrongly things can go. So I always begin with just a sliver of something. And then the entire writing process is one of exploration, where I'm writing into the unknown to see what I'll find. It's really the deepest joy I feel creatively when I do it that way. What motto or words do you find you live by? Do not think dream is constantly in my mind. If I'm thinking too much when I'm writing, I tend to be self-conscious and I'm trying to say something in particular. With the personal essay in the memoir, you think because you were there that you know what happened. Oh, really? I would submit to you the reason you're writing that is because you were there and what the hell happened? So this putting back together again was still an act of discovery, even though I'd lived it. So do not think, dream. Hmm. What other forms of art speak to you? Yeah, I think after literature, it's music. I tend to play evocative music that, again, like poetry, will take you down. I love painting and, and photography, and I could, I, could, I could stare at visual images for days. I've started, I've started to draw recently because of my wife's influence. She's also a visual artist, and, and I find that I really enjoy, especially with pencil, just drawing faces and objects. How do you explain your skill to yourself? The skill I have... I've learned to show up five days a week whether I want to or not. It's, it's more the belief in the, in the practice than in myself. Every time I go to a festival, especially in Newburyport, and see the thousands of people who show up, it just gives me such hope for the future, and it's been a joy and an honor to be part of it.